hi guys very good evening to you uh, in this video we are going to learn um, that how we can actually find out the first and the ending position of a alphabet called C right and this question actually came uh, from one of my subscribers uh, actually who has written this let me show you this uh, what actually is the requirement and then we'll move forward so this is the video number uh, uh, oh, let, let me pause the video I'm sorry uh, that's the video number three and it's a great video you can go there and you can see that it's a very long formula we have prepared so that's the question great video thank you so much Sally um, can you help on this if if you have a series of letters like this CCC and GG and CCK and a lot of C's are there um, again I mean they are baking somewhere some new characters coming and then they are joining by the different characters so what we need to display is the corresponding start and the finishing uh, column values which means the position from where the C starts and the end position before actually the next alphabet you know comes before the alphabet changes for example this is the answer now in this case you can see if we I have a C here the first character is going to we are going to capture one and then after before it the G starts we would like to capture the ending position of the C which is 6 and then again you know after we have again the C back after this G you can see here so the position we would like to capture which is 9 after 9 we would like to have 10 and 11 so we would like to capture the 11 and then after 11 again we would like to capture the starting and the ending position of the C so thank you so much Salim for this question and uh, one more thing I would like to uh, say that uh, this is the website where you can watch all those videos uh, this is the website name is excelvblover.com I'm already in the video section but otherwise uh, I mean you can go to the home tab and from there you can find out all those 164 videos on the VBA and on the Excel training and Excel videos as well or otherwise you can you know watch all those videos on my YouTube channel also and I, I, I simply want I just want to thank you a lot because today I actually have covered my 200 subscribers and trust me on that I'm really very thankful to you um, in the March I have got a lot of subscribers I have got almost like 40 and 50 subscribers as on date and that only means that you are actually loving this channel so the purpose you know of actually starting this channel I, I I can see that it's you know it's actually meeting its agenda <laughs> so thank you once again and now let's quickly come here and let me give you the very small example before I start so let's say if you have a, this character now what you want to do is you want to calculate the position you want to your answer should be now 1 and 4 why because you have a value here C comes at 1 and then 2 3 and then 4 fourth, fourth position so this is what we are looking forward if you have a repetition somewhere here like this then what would be the answer then the answer is going to be 1 2 and 4 why because 1 is the starting point and thereafter we have another C so that is going to be the ending point so 1 comma 2 and then comma 4 right this is what actually we are going to develop a formula in this way uh, if you have a let's say t t uh, 3 times C now what would be the answer so obviously if you have a repetition that means there is one the C which is comes in the middle it should not be captured so we the answer again would be 1 and 3 because that's the ending position and 1 is the starting position and then after G again we have a C so it is going to be your 4 1 2 3 4 5 sorry 5 what if you have 2 C at the end then obviously that means I'm going to capture 1 3 5 and 6 okay and if you have more C's in the let's say the end of the video then instead of this 6 you should have here 7 because this is 1 this is 3 and then this is 5 and then 6 we will not have it and the 7 so this is what we are going to achieve the first thing we are going to do is we're going to separate them we're going to spread them like this right if you're wondering then how we're going to do that I will simply use the mid function before I use the mid function let me quickly tell you about this row function if I write this equals to row function I will have the row number of the cell where I have written this value and this is what I'm going to use in the mid function okay if you're not familiar with the mid function please go to my website or channel and watch the videos under the category called text functions now I'm going to use the mid function here in this text start number is going to be row of a1 okay which means one actually I'm trying to get the one and how many characters I want I just want the one character so you don't need this it's just for your actually 
understanding so c5 i'm going to block it and there we go now please don't be surprised that you know what i'm going to actually do here uh, because this looks actually very amazing you can see here i've got all the c values here so i can further drag this formula just in case if i have long text let's say we'll have some here more text look at this now so what you're doing actually you're actually extracting the cells one by one and once you got these all cells so again i'm repeating what we are doing we are saying that go in this cell using the mid function start your search from the start number which is the row a1 which would be one and then give us the one character in, you know in return so here it is going to start with the second character because row of a2 is going to give you the two so the mid will start from the two which is on the c and from the c it returns one character which is itself is a c so we're going to have your all the text entries here now once you got them separated it's very easy for you actually to do, do the analysis right so i'm here now going to find the position wherever we have c we would like to capture their position because that's what we need right so i'll use the simple function if you are equals to c if you are equals to c then i would like to you know capture you so in this table you stand at the first position right so i'm going to use the row function again if i press enter right now i will get the 5 because i'm on the row number 5 but i don't need that so i'm going to subtract minus 4 from minus i'm going to subtract 4 from it so 5 minus 4 will make it 1 and then going you know in the downward direction we will have all the values so you can see here we extracted all the positions of c 1 2 3 5 6 7 and 10 now what is the next step now the next step is you don't need 2 you don't need c you only need 1 and 3 5 and 7 because they are the starting and ending positions and then for this c there is no ending position or you can say there is no starting position, just the one c so we like to capture only the 10 right so this is a very important step now what you would do see this pay attention the idea is look if you start your search from here okay let me put it this way if you start your search from the first character what you will check you will check if the next character or the character before this before this i know it's nothing but we are going to put the condition if the before character or the after character is not equals to c then that means there must be different character and if there is a different character then that means your c we should be able to capture that position of the c for example if i change this to cr now what do you want obviously you would like to capture the position of the c because the c begins at the first position and we would like to have it because after c there is a r so this is what we are going to see we are going to check that after the c and before this c if any of the condition if any of the text either after or you know uh, your before we have a we have not equals to c we have a different value we have a different character then we would like to capture the position of the c which we have already defined in this column right now suppose if you're going to put here c and again c then what will happen our condition would say that before c is not a c which is true after c after this particular this c there is another c right so that means that what does that mean that means that one condition is going to be met so we will actually definitely like to capture this so let me explain this way this is going to make you uh, i know it's a little difficult but let's understand like this i'm going to put the or condition if or we are going to use the two logics so what we are going to say if this value is not equals to c and the value after this c which means this c is not equals to c if both the conditions out of both these conditions even a single condition meets its criteria it comes comes out to be true then that means that would definitely mean that there is a discontinuity and we would like to have the position capture which is called the f e5 otherwise otherwise give us the space not a problem right so what will happen when you press enter you will have the values let me drag this look at this you got the one three five seven ten <laughs> that's very interesting right i can show you this again what is happening look at this in this cell let me press f2 i'm saying that if you're not equals to c and if you're not equals to c okay any of them 
if you're not equals to c then we would like to have your value which is called the 2 so what will happen do i have in the d5 not equals to c it is there is a value which is c after the c there is another value in the d7 which is c now when you have before and after the same alphabet it means we will like to avoid that position because if you already have the character after and before you know the same character that means you are in the continuous form so there is no breaking right there is no discontinuity there is no new character so we would like to avoid your position so when you come here now see what happens it says now for this c which is on the third position now we are saying if you are not equals to c this is equals to c but we have put the or condition here the second character which says d8 if you are not equals to c and you know g is not equals to c then what does that mean that means the character is changing your c is now discontinued it it may come after you know that character again but that's fine we would like to capture the ending position of that c so this way you can get all these values now another part how you can actually combine them okay so to combine them uh, what you can do is you can simply put the here a small function what would be the smallest number here so in this table i'm going to say that the smallest number is going to be the fourth smallest number we would like to capture and i'm on the row number four so i'll subtract three from it so that four minus three will give me one and now i have a value called one which is the smallest number now drag this so in this way you will be able to collate all the values one by one this is a very powerful function here you have a lot of spaces because it's scattered right you you can combine them so for the if error uh, these values will show you the error because after 10 there is no position uh, so we can simply say that if error if you're going to be the error then we would like to have you as space and that's it press enter and there we go once you got them you know what to do now you simply can concatenate them with the space let's say this one and space and this again space and this and this and this and again space and this so you can i mean you know put the extra buffer also that's all up to you this is your job because you know your data i just uh, used uh, you know just a hypothetical i'm in the situation i'm actually trying to tell you so now you got the one three five seven ten so you can hide everything from here so that the user should not be able to see so i mean you know i can hide all of these values let me just hide it so if your text is very long obviously you need to drag this formula that's the only thing right so here if i write here let's say cfcg what would be the answer the answer should be uh, one and three. Oh wow wonderful and if you're going to write here ccc then what would be the answer guys the answer is going to be one and four Oh, wow I'm doing so good right so what would be the answer now one two and then five yeah so it looks very beautiful very nice you are actually able to get all the values and um, if I put here something else I mean you can do the experiment I mean you know it's all up to you if I put it like this now what would be the answer two and then um, three, four five six yeah, 2 and 5, 6, I think this this should be the answer. Oh, bingo. I am actually so intelligent, isn't it? <laughs> so, just kidding. But indeed, it was a good question. So, you can pause the video. You can see what I have done here. Let me just unhide it. And uh, you can see, you know, these are the things which we have done here. And let me uh, use this uh, shortcut control tilt so that you can see the formula. Look at this. Okay. So this way you can see the entire formula. Let me just, yeah, maximize it. And let me just hide this. And let me just hide this as well. You can pause the video, you can see what is happening. And uh, indeed it's a, it was a very good question. I'm so happy to give you this kind of a stuff. And yes, um, I will be very soon uploading a new video of the same subject, the same question but with the VBA programming there you don't have to write all these functions right so I hope uh, this is what actually 
you are looking for my dear subscriber and in case if it is not then please let me know and if you like the video don't forget to share your feedback and for those who are watching this video for the first time i have 166 more videos you can go to my youtube channel be a part of it and you can watch all of them or maybe you can go to my website also so thank you so much and have a very very great learning as always take care bye bye